everybody. It is Hannah from the Doodle Bug and Jasper, Indiana. And today, instead of doing a what's new, I have um, a little demo that I want to do for you guys. So the other day on our what's new, I showed you that we just got in these universal plate systems from Spellbinders. And one of the questions that came up was, will it work in other machines? And so today I want to show you it working in a Big Shot machine. So that's what we're gonna you know, be playing with today, showing you how it can work in those other machines. I'm gonna try and lift the camera up. A minute ago when I was looking, it looked fine. And now I think I need a little extra height. So let's see how that does. If it doesn't fit, that one's to lean because I don't have any weight on it, dang it. Shoot. Okay, and I got eyeballs, so we're going to go back down. It looked fine, and when I was testing it, and now it's not great. So, anyway, universal um, plate system. If you did not see that the other day from Spellbinders, super great concept here. So, they have basically just put everything together for you. Um, a lot of this stuff, yes, you probably do have at home, but, but... Here is the big awesomeness with this as well, too. So I'm going to do a side-by-side -side comparison. So what you get in the universal system is you get your, your platform base, okay? Then you get a what they're calling a platform top, which if you are familiar with physics, looks just like to me, like the thin die adapter, okay? So we've got our base. We've got our platform top, which is like a thin die adapter. So I'm going to kind of do a little side by side here with my Sizzix. Okay. Then you're also going to get one, two cutting pads, just like you would with your Big Shot. Okay. That one, and there's that one. Okay. Now you are also going to get a rubber embossing mat. This is something Sizzix does have, but you buy it separately, all right? And you also, it works best with what's called an adapter plate for that. And again, Sizzix has that, but sells it separately. And then it also comes with this little shim. Um, it's kind of like thicker than mylar. It's plasticky. Um, feels like almost like a non-stick surface, um, but heavier than like just paper. You know, pa running paper through, it's going to have a lot of give. Since this is plasticky, it's not going to have that same kind of give. So that's everything that you're going to get in with this Spellbinders Universal Plate System. Now. What do you notice about those two, though? Mm -hmm. I'll just, I'm going to try and find you a die here real quick, too. Right behind me. Just happen to have one. So what the big, we're so excited about this is, it's extended length. So that, my friends, is a slimline die. When I put that slimline die on my big shot platform it's close and once you put those plates with that beveled edge on it a lot of times it won't cut that little edge so and if you've got something decorative you can't really turn it to the side so you've got to run it through like this and then come back and run it through again now Sizzix does have extended plates. They, they have that. You can get an extended platform. So, you know, again, that would be an extra thing to purchase. So now in this universal, it is longer. So it's extended so you can fit your slimline dies on there. Look, I can even turn it to the side. So if this is one, anytime you do a cut um, and you've got a long cut going across that roller, I like to give it just a little bit of a tilt. And then that way the pressure doesn't come across it all on that one point at the same time. See if I turn it this way, here comes my roller. It has a hard time cutting right there. And sometimes even right there, trying to do all that pressure all the way across. So you want to turn your dies ever so slightly and you could not do that on the Big Shot platform. So now with this one, when I run it through, it will cut it all nicely and disperse the cutting pressure. So that's kind of the big thing with this as well too. Um, on here, they do give you great little 
Um, so with the Epic, let me, let me measure this because I don't have an Epic anymore in the store. So Mary, this one here going across is just a smidge over six. So it's like six, looks like six and a quarter because there's my six and a half. No, not even quite six and a quarter. It is like six and an eighth. So it's six and an eighth wide. So depending what your Epic will fit, good possibility, okay? Um, I don't, and like I said, I don't have an Epic here anymore. I've got Big Shots and I have the Spellbinders Platinum that this um, was designed to go into, but I'm thinking the Epic had about the same width, so it, it should fit. And you are always more than welcome. I have one for the store, Mary. Bring your machine in and you can try it out. So I played around with this. It works great in my Platinum, but I played around with it in my Big Shot. So I've got a Big Shot here. Kind of do it on the side so then that way you guys can see it coming through and we're just going to play around and we're going to do some cuts so i pulled out a die out of this set right here it's actually a set we have on sale but i wanted to use it because this is a die cut embossing and stenciling die because you can use it as a stencil but using it as a emboss notice how it's cut out in all these areas it will emboss those. Those aren't cut areas like on this little guy. Those are embossed areas. So if we're gonna do the little mushroom. Okay, so I've got my mushroom here and I'm just gonna run him through and cut it out first. So to build, this actually works perfect with the big, or with the big shot with theirs. So I'm going to do my sandwich. So I've got my platform, check. Next it says, put your platform top, got it check oh no it's covered up now oh don't worry it's right there again <laughs> so platform top now my cutting piece all right right there then it says paper check die cut side down check and then the other cutting plate on top so i'm going to put that other cutting plate on top if i can find where i sat it because i've been playing around with everything here there's my big shot ones Oh, Hannah Marie. You know what, guys? I make myself crazy some days. I had everything sitting here so nice. Had it all laid out so I could do my video. Oh, there it is. It's underneath my sack. I found it. All right. So now I've got my last one I'm going to put on, and then I'm just going to roll it through my big shop. Okay. All right. Went through super easy peasy. And there it is. So cut it out. Great. Now, if it was super intricate, um, and I've already done a die that we've used and abused for probably 15 years, and it cut out great. Um, so, you know, that's a pretty tough die for us because it's it's about met its lifespan. Um, but it did great with that, just with this regular sandwich. Now, if you need a little more oomph, that's whenever you want to use that shim and bring that shim into play. All right. But now, what I want to do is I want to emboss a cut shape. So I'm gonna do my base, got it. Platform top, got it. Um, cut paper and cutting die, all right? That's this right here. So you're gonna leave your paper in the die and it says cut side up. Then you wanna get your embossing mat. That's the, I'm gonna move this down here. The embossing mat is this one right here. It's very, very rubbery. I'm gonna put that on top and then I'm gonna put the adapter it says next. And the adapter is that thicker, it is thicker than the clear. You see that in the camera? It is thicker than the clear um, and made out of a different material as well too. So now I'm gonna run that through. Again, I'm using the exact same sandwich that Spellbinders gave me, okay? that to the side here and check that out let me see if I can see it on camera can you see that there you go it is now embossed as well too one thing I played around with because once you kind of learn your big shot um, you'll kind of know when when to feel like ooh, it that's way too much that's gonna get stuck so I actually did this one I'm gonna put it back in here Okay, and I did another sandwich with it as well, just to see if I could get a little more oomph to it. So my other sandwich, 
we're going to use my, my chicken scratch here. I, for embossing, I did the base, okay? And then I did a clear one, all right? So just a little, a little thicker than that solo, um, solo, than the platform top, okay? So I'm going to show you what this does. And then did what it said, dye, and then my embossing mat, and then my adapter, okay? Oops. Make sure he is stuck in there, though. All right, got it back in there. I'm gonna put my mat on, and I'm gonna put the adapter on. And I could probably even try it with the clear, because when I run it through, I'm gonna show you what, what this does. So as I'm running it through, um, kind of watch, watch back here. You're going to see my little embossing mat want to see it starting to poke out back here. Can you guys see that on camera? Where are we at? Yeah, right back. You can see in the very edge. See how it's starting to kind of moosh out? Well, it is just a rubber mat. So it's actually kind of stretching out. Think of it like pizza dough. And watch as it comes through and it will. There we go. It pops back together. Not that it was broken or anything like that. It was not broke, but it just mooshes it back together. And now look at the difference. See how much more it embossed it just by increasing that a little bit. So I could probably even try the clear on top rather than the adapter on top. But look how pretty that is. Now, you could go one step further. You could, while it's in this stage right here, you could grab an ink pad, all right, and you can hit it directly. It's gonna be pretty intense, all right. You could have left it in, okay, and taken your ink pad across it if you want that intense color. I can get it down in there, there we go. Okay, so you can do it that way because you can use these as stencils. Now, of course, before I run it through again, I am going to want to clean that off, okay, and see there's where it did that, um, but you can also, while it was in there, to not get such a harsh look, if you have little blending brushes, I'm just gonna use the ink that's already on there, you could go ahead, and I didn't do the other side there, just so you guys could see, you could go ahead and ink it that way too, and I probably have enough on here that you could hit it with a little bit, there you go. You could just hit it regular as well. You will get a little bit that goes down onto your mushroom, but that's not gonna hurt anything. The raised areas will always pick up more. And just a little bit on the base down here. So a couple different ways that you can also accentuate what you just embossed. So, all right. Hopefully that kind of helps a little bit with using the universal plate. Um, it also will do your embossing folders too. And it has a great little sandwich on how to do the embossing folders. So you do platform, platform top, standard, and then just your cutting mat. Now I do have a deep set one here. Let's go ahead and try the deep set. I haven't practiced that one, so let me find mine. Okay, I've got a 3D embossing folder here. I'm gonna open it up. And we're gonna take it through the big shot as well. This is one of Spellbinder's newer ones. It's called Circle Illusion. It's one of those really nice big ones. And I'm just gonna throw, I wasn't planning on doing this. So all I have is just scrap back here for cutting. So we're gonna put that paper right in there like so. And we're gonna follow our platform here or our sandwich recipe here. Put everything to the side for you. All right, so this one we're gonna do the base, 3D and the adapter top. That's what it recommends for running it through the Spellbinders Platinum. Let's see how it does with that going through the big shot. All right, so I've got my platform. All right, let's see here. Going through good. All right, now I always recommend with a 3D, sorry, my this is just paper underneath, and so is wanting to give. 
I like to go three three passes. Um, in my Sizzix switch, the new one we just got in, I will only do two. And another thing I normally do too, is I give that a little mist of water, and I always tell you guys that, but again, this was totally impromptu, wasn't planning on doing this one. So let's, oh, it did beautiful. Oh my gosh. Can you guys see how deep that is? Look at that. That did beautiful. And it was an easy sandwich. I mean, there was no resistance at all. So yes, these sandwiches all seem to be working great in other machines too. So, all right, everybody. Again, I am Hannah from the Doodle Bug in Jasper, Indiana. And this was just a quick little video to show you how you can use your universal plate system from Spellbinders that they just came out with in, of course, in your Spellbinders Platinum, but you can also use it on your, or in your Big Shot as well. Um, we have these online, so you can just search for the Universal Plate System. You can also type in its item number, PL-127. Um, can I get that embossing folder? Um, this was one that I got in my training pack. So let me double, let me see if I can get you one, Vicki. I'm sure I can. Let me, let me put it this way. I don't know if I have one in the store, Vicki, but I will order this one for you. Yes, or replace mine for, for you. And Diane, you know, um, you too can work at a scrapbook store and not know how much these are. I believe they are 55. Kaylin, while you're back, do you remember how much these are? I've got one on the shelf behind me. Hold on, Diane. Here is one on the shelf. They are 55. So, Diane, they are 55. And then I will show you guys one other. Since, Vicki, I've got you on here and you like those deep ones. We just got in this one, too, the other day. Looks like I must have already opened it because we sealed it back up with extra thick tape. It is gorgeous as well. Let's run this one through and play with this one, too. So, all right. This one here is called Beautiful Blooms. But I've got as far as some scrap paper. Cut a little piece down real quick here. All right, so again, normally to get a nice deep impression, I do like to miss this a little bit. I'm gonna try and put it right in here so we can get those flowers okay so let's check this out so again how to do a 3d we're going to do the platform 3d and then the adapter I'm going to cut it off camera over here just so I don't wiggle wobble around like I did a second ago and I'm going to run it through three times so one two three And then we'll run it through one more time. All right, so one, two, three. And then let's check out how pretty it is. Oh my gosh, that is beautiful. Can you guys see that? And then since I've still got my purple out, let's check that out. Just do a little bit of purple on here. I've got some scrap paper. I do. Okay. So I'm just going to Oh my gosh, friends, are you loving this? Look how pretty that is. That is so pretty. Oh my gosh. Okay, now I totally wish I would have brought over um, <laughs> more blending brushes. I don't think I did. Well, I do. I have one here. Hold on. Because it's a real tiny one. But let's see. Let's see if we can pull some green on there. Let's see. I don't know. It's pretty small. We'll see if we can get some, just a little bit of green on there. I know it's not great because it's all purple. Yeah, this is not the best one for what we're doing here but oh my gosh how pretty is that so fun just to give it a little bit of color there and that was quick 
So not my, not my most, you know, if I was sitting down and actually doing it to, to look amazing. How fun is that though? Oh my gosh, I'm loving that. All right, so now we've done not one, but two of the 3D embossing folders through the universal mat from Spellbinders, but we did it in our big shop and they worked great. So the sandwiches that I have used so far, just like what um, they said to do, they're universal ones, they are all working great in the big shot. And again, you do get that extra little shim in there. So if you would, you know, have a little bit of, a problem where you need a little more oomph, you can always run through with that shim as well too. So again, these are all on our website at www.thedoodlebuginc.com. They are 55. Remember, we ship at 70. So put this in your cart, throw a collection kit in there, and we will send it to you completely for free. Um, if you have any questions, you know, just post them here. We will also get this uploaded, so it'll be on our YouTube channel later on today. And thank you so much. Hopefully, we'll see you soon. Um, and again, I'm Hannah at the Doodlebug. Thanks so much. Have a crafty day.